Hey everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing the Raspberry Pi 4. I ordered this kit from Konakit. We've got Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model. Pretty excited to open this up and see what we can do with it and how powerful the new Pi is. I've already cut the tape. Let's take a look here. We've got HDMI cable. It's got a big one on this end, a little one on this one. So this should work. This kit came with our micro SD card. We've got a, what is this? 5.1 volt, three and a half amp power adapter. I didn't have anything that powerful, so I wanted to make sure I got a kit with the power adapter and it's USB-C. I don't have a lot of those laying around. It also comes with some heat sinks. Um, I think this is a case. Let's take a look here. Okay. Oh yeah. So I've got a case just like this one for my 3B plus. Yep. That comes off. How is this? There it is. I don't usually use cases a whole lot, but sometimes they're nice to have. We've also got micro SD card reader. Got enough of those laying around. Don't really need that. And here it is. Raspberry Pi 4 computer, model B, four gigs RAM. All right, let's see here. feels a little heavier. So we've got our USB-C, two micro HDMI ports, audio, camera, display, got the normal GPIO header. It's got a, what is that? 1.5 gigahertz processor, 64 bit, four gigs of RAM. Pretty excited to have USB 3 on here. We've got two USB 2s as well, and gigabit ethernet. Should hopefully run a lot better than the 3B+. Saw some stuff that people were complaining about the guide that came with this. I haven't looked at this yet. Just basic stuff. Yeah, nothing special in here. What else have we got here? Safety and user guide. Rules are meant to be broken, right? Well, let's start by putting these heat sinks on here. sure where to put this little one. And there's nothing here that says where to put them. Interesting. I'm assuming this goes on the processor. This one looks like it goes on the RAM. Probably should have put the one on the processor on there 
last. It's raised up a little bit more than the other ones are. There we go. And where should we put this little one? I think it's probably supposed to go on this guy right here. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it goes over here. I don't know. It's pretty small. There we go. Got all of the heat sinks applied to the appropriate locations. Let's put it in the case. I believe we start with the base here. Well, that fits in there nicely. This actually goes together a lot easier than my other one. And then we've got the top piece. I think it goes this way. There it is. That ah, goes together nicely. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot, but let's take our SD card. I will go flash Raspbian to it. We'll boot it up and see what happens. So I wasn't going to show you guys me putting Raspbian on the SD card. You should probably already know how to do that. But I pop the SD card in, this pops up, and it looks like it already has noobs on there. I wasn't going to use noobs, but this will be a good speed test too, because noobs seems to take forever to install. And it's already on here, so it makes my job a little bit easier. We'll go ahead and plug this into the TV and see what happens. Okay, here it goes. See what happens here. All right, I've got a wireless keyboard and mouse hooked up. We're going to do full Raspbian install. Yes. It's writing at 4.2 megabytes per second. Looks like this might take a little bit. Would have been easier to flash Raspbian to it, but we'll see how long this takes. It's got about five gigs to go. All right, so it took a total of about 12 and a half minutes from when I plugged it in. It should now boot up into Raspbian. All right, so right off the bat here, it looks like resolution doesn't fit for my TV. Let's get this set up. Well, that's probably the best we can do for now. But I really want to check the temperature. Oh, it's running at 63 degrees right now. It's pretty warm, but it's not bad. Let's see how well the internet works. I was never a fan of Chromium. It always ran really slow on the Pi. I'm not gonna sign in or do any of that. Let's just go over to 
YouTube. That's not going too bad. Let's pull up. Backyard Scientist. If you haven't checked out his channel, check it out. Pretty entertaining. How bright is deadly radiation? This is working surprisingly well. Very impressive. I can't imagine this would have worked this well on the Pi 3. Now, while it's running the video, let's run over here and run this again. 68, 66, 67. Not bad. I don't know why people are whining about the temperature. I mean, that's a bit warm, but it's not bad by any means. Still running 65, 67. Pretty stable. It's a very nice device. I am impressed with the Raspberry Pi 4. This is the four gigabyte model. I bought the whole kit from Kana Kit directly, and I think it ran a total of about 100 US dollars. So pretty good deal. Definitely recommend it. That's all I've got for today. So make sure you subscribe. I'm going to I'm going to continue to experiment with various operating systems. Um, I'm excited to try Android. I'm going to do some versions of Ubuntu and Arch. So hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll talk to you all next time. Thanks.